because without host families, we could not have a host exchange student here. So thank you very much. There are two other people here that we'd like to recognize. You've heard us say this year that back in 1992-93, Fruji's mom, Zhuzha, was an exchange student in our club, and two of her host mothers are here today, moms, Una Grace Nash and Margaret Smith. Please stand up. Thank you both for being with us. It's special. Her mother, Zhuzha, did have another host family. It was Glenn and myself. Anyway. So, we know that you are, we are glad that you're here with us today, and now, Fruji, it's all yours. Okay, so hi, my name is Fruji, and uh, I've been spending my uh, sophomore year here in Huntsville with the Rotary Youth Exchange, and I'm from Hungary, and I want to talk about Hungary a little bit. <laughs> So, uh, Hungary is in uh, Middle Europe. Over there. <laughs> and uh, if you zoom into Europe, uh, we can see how big Texas is. I put it on, and y'all can see the size differences. <laughs> I already knew that like Hungary is like seven times smaller than Texas, but it's still, wow. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Hungary's population is 10 million people, and I live right there, uh, 45 minutes from Budapest, what is the capital city of Hungary. Uh, a lot of people may not know, but Budapest actually, uh, it is two cities, Budapest and the river Danube crosses it. Okay? And uh, my city's name is Ceglid. It's it's the same size as Huntsville, and I brought some pictures. This is our main church, and we have a lot of parks, and yes. Okay, this is my high school in Hungary. Uh, it's a little bit different because, uh, as I said, it's exactly the same high, uh, size as Huntsville, but we have four high schools, and uh, my high school has 600 students. Okay, this is my house. This is the front. And we just built that uh, three years ago. <laughs> okay, this is my family. Those are my brothers. Uh, his name is Bansa, uh, he's 12. And this is Hunor, he's eight. And this is my father, uh, he's an engineer in Nokia. And this is my mother. Normally she doesn't look that sad, but that picture, <laughs> <laughs> that picture was taken when I left. <laughs> so yes, um, she's a math and English teacher, and as Carol said, she was here 24 years ago. And uh, she went to the same high school, and she also went to the prom. And I got the chance, I mean, it's Nash, and I got to try her prom dress on, and it's really cool that I have the same picture. <laughs> So now about Hungary, uh, the language, we speak Hungarian and we have 44 letters in the alphabet and it's basically, they are the same letters, we just put accents on it and we put the, letter, sorry, we put the letters together. And this one is our longest word, it says Megszentségtelenítheletlenségeskedéseit <laughs> akért. And this is how we build that word. <laughs> what does that word mean? It's over. Oh, it's over. Over there? Oh. Big animal. Yes. <laughs> it's one word. For your deeds by doing something that's being unable to make something unsent. Unsent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I wrote a lot of a few phrases in Hungarian. So, hi is see ya, like when you say see you. 
Okay, how are you? Is hogy vagy? Uh, thank you. Uh, no, köszönöm. It, it means thank you. Yes. Uh, mom and dad is anya and apa. It's like almost the same as in Spanish. And um, this is the last word. It's unbelievable. It's he had that plan. And when you say the English sentence, he had that plan, it says the same. <laughs> Katie made it up. <laughs> Okay, uh, and this is a tongue twister. Uh, Hungarian the language, we roll our R's. And this is how we learn in kindergarten how to roll our R's. It sounds like Reparatak Mogyoró Korán Rengerit Kari Kantarigo. Anybody can try it. <laughs> yes, translation. <laughs> Uh, we have a lot of soups. Uh, one of the most famous is the goulash soup, Hungarian goulash soup. Uh, it's goulash sauce in Hungarian. And uh, we have the other one, uh, it's sour cherry soup. And we eat it when it's cold. It's very unique, it's really good. <laughs> okay, uh, we have um, a dessert, what is plum dumplings. And uh, we eat a lot of meat. And we have a lot of different kinds of stews, and this is one of the most famous. It's made up made from beef. Okay. Uh, a few inventions: the ballpoint pen, a Rubik's cube is from Hungary, uh, a white missy, and a hydrogen bomb. <laughs> uh, this is our traditional custom. Okay, uh, interesting tradition and things. Uh, we had that thing, it's, a, it's called a pig feast, a pig, and uh, it's like a one-day program. We get together with friends and family, and uh, we kill a pig. And, <laughs> okay, it doesn't sound fun, but actually it, it really is. So, uh, and we uh, made sausage and uh, pork products from them. And after that, we have a bonfire party, and instead of barbecue or s'mores, uh, we uh, roast like pig fat and we put it on a bread and we eat it with vegetables and onions. Yes. Uh, so, yes, we put the pig fat and it's pig juice and we put it on the bread. Okay, so Easter. <laughs> Easter is a, a little bit different than here. So, we have the tradition like boys uh, sprinkle and pour water on girls. And nowadays, we usually just we do it with perfume because it's not fun when it's really cold and they just come to your house and like pour ice water on you. And this is a tradition because to keep the girls pretty and young. And we have to give them painted eggs because of that. Okay, okay uh, so another interesting thing. In uh, December, we have two holidays. One of them is the 6th of December. It's called the Santa Claus Day. This is when Santa Claus comes and brings you present. So we have to put our boots in the window, and if you were good during the year, you get chocolate, and if you were bad, you got a stick. I always get a stick for my mom, because she thinks it's funny. So, um, and the other one is the 24th of December. This is Christmas Eve, and instead of Santa Claus, like here, uh, Jesus comes and uh, brings us presents. Okay, uh, our names are switched, so our uh, last name goes first, and our first name goes last. So here is here are some uh, different, uh, the most popular last names. There is mine. It's pronounced Siladi. This is my last name, and there are a few others. Okay, uh, we have that name day. What is like birthday? So you celebrate it as the same way. So you get presents. We go out to eat sometimes, and every day. Each day has a different name, and if it's yours, it's your it's your day. Uh, my my name day is January the first. Okay, so that's all about Hungary, and uh, I I would like to talk about my year that I I've been spending here. Okay, so I arrived here on the thirteenth of August. Uh, it was really weird because I didn't understand anything. I just got here. I haven't been apart from my family for more than two weeks before. 
that just got here for another to the another continent and everybody started talking to me in English and I was like, I can smile and nodding my head and <laughs> pretending I understand it, but <laughs> no. And it was really hot in August. I expected it's going to be hot, but not that hot. <laughs> okay. So uh, my first host told me made this poster for me. And that was the moment that I realized I, I actually in Texas, I'm really here, and I, I really made it. <laughs> okay, so uh, these are a few pictures of my first family. And this is when we went to Colorado uh, for uh, Thanksgiving break. Uh, we took a selfie with the turkey. And uh, we also got to hike uh, in a national park, and it was really fun. And there's another picture uh, from Christmas. And I want to say thank you because I really enjoy staying with y'all and I also want to thank you Marcus to getting up with me 6 a.m. in the morning and come to run with me every day and <laughs> taking me for 6 a.m. morning practices. <laughs> yes. And there's, there are two other pictures. Uh, for Labor Day we went to San Antonio and the national, another national park. It was fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so I started high school here. And first it was really hard because it's so different and I didn't know anybody. And the first time when I, I really feel, felt, I really felt good, it was when I joined cross country and I made a lot of friends. And I had a really good team. And also uh, when I joined the team, they couldn't pronounce my name. So they called me Fruit, Fruit or Fruit Loops. <laughs> <laughs> and I still have that nickname <laughs> and I like it, so it's okay. Uh, also another story, so every morning we ran to the graveyard next to the high school and I called it for gravy for like four months and nobody told me that it doesn't mean the same. <laughs> okay, so um, on, our first, on my first meet uh, I started running this year and I went to my first year and I didn't expect anything and I came in, in second out of 400 people and I was really surprised. <laughs> And I realized I like running. <laughs> okay. So that was my homecoming. I really liked the football games. And <laughs> they were really fun. Okay. Uh, so after that, I met three other exchange students in Huntsville High School. And on November the 15th, uh, we have that National Hug on Exchange Student Day. And we made posters, and I got like 130 hugs. <laughs> I didn't even know half of those people, but it's, it was still fun. Okay, uh, okay uh, in Christmas, I got to spread it with Glenn and Carol. Uh, they took me to Washington, D.C. to Glenn's daughter and her family. I got to see the White House, the Capitol building, and we went to the Ford Theater to see a play. I really liked it. <laughs> okay, so after that, uh, I had to move to my second host family. And I don't know, like, those were like moving to another family was my hardest part of my year. It was even harder than to leave my real family in Hungary. I don't really know why. <laughs> so as you can see, all of my stuff doubled its size and so did my weight after this <laughs> couple months. Okay, uh, we did, did a lot of fun things, like we went fishing, uh, have Gatorade rides, and also I put those pictures too. <laughs> With Thomas and Katie, uh, my host friends. <laughs> we also, uh, for spring break, uh, we went to San Antonio and Austin, and we took a blue bonnet picture with Katie. <laughs> And uh, that was my first rodeo with Katie and Grayson. I really, really liked it. <laughs> and okay, so after I moved, DJ took that pictures and I thought it was really funny because uh, two of my host moms were talking and DJ was like, this is your, uh, your other mom. And I was like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, so another point. <laughs> With Katie, who was not just my whole sister, like she really became my real sister. Um, I love you, Katie. <laughs> okay, uh, and after that, after cross country, uh, we had the track uh, season. 
Uh, it was also really fun. That also meant like more practices, more 6 a.m. practices, and more after school practices. <laughs> I really liked it. <laughs> okay, so now I, I moved to my third host family. <laughs> And this picture was taken uh, during uh, Easter. We went to Cali Station. Uh, it was fun. Uh, we did egg hunting. <laughs> and the other picture was uh, a couple of weeks ago when we went to the Rotary District Conference and I had a speech too. And DJ was there because he's going to Spain. Yep. Uh, okay, there are two pictures. I got to be a cowboy, cowgirl for a day. <laughs> I, I rode horses and uh, I practiced I practiced roping. It was really fun. I really really liked it. <laughs> okay. So now um, I just want to say thank you uh, for Glenn and Carol because without them I wouldn't be here now. And I remember my mom was always talking about how much she loves that, loves y'all and how much y'all mean me to her. But, and now I finally understand why. <laughs> so I also thank you for Carol, a really special thanks for Carol because you have been one of the best part of my exchange and you're always there if I have a problem. And when I go over for a 10 minutes talk, I always stop there for three hours because you just keep talking and talking. <laughs> and. I also, my hair would be pink by now if Carol would not have stopped me. So I, 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 I appreciate that. <laughs> I was like, thank you and I love y'all. <laughs> okay. And my last picture, uh, this picture is really, really special to me because it represents the things that I love in Texas. Like, Texas made me fall in love with it. Like, I, all of the cowboys and trucks and country music. <laughs> <laughs> and even the bluebell blue ice cream found a key to my heart, heart really easily. <laughs> and uh, maybe the weather caused me some problems because when it was like 40 degrees in the morning and by the end of the day it was 90 degrees and I was burning during track practice, I was terrible. <laughs> Then on another day, it was like 10% chance of rain and we ended up with a tornado. But <laughs> this is why we like Texas. <laughs> and this year has been the best year, best year of my life. And as the quote say, says, like, home is where your heart is, right? And a part of my heart will always be here forever because now I have two homes.